This is part two of the Horse Breaker series. In the first part, I did the giveaway for the BB preamp that I was giving away when I hit two and a half thousand subs. I'm happy to say the winner, Rodrigo D, has been found. So he'll be getting the pedal soon. Uh, it turns out by chance that he's a Londoner. He's not too far away and he's going to collect the pedal and actually he's going to lend me a guitar and maybe something else um, that I can do a review of. And um, I'm really thankful for that. That's actually something I'd love to do more of. If anyone's in the sort of home counties area or London, South East England, um, and you've got something you'd be interested in seeing in a video or, you know, whatever, I can probably drive over and pick it up for a few days and then drop it back. I'd love to do that. So yeah, hit me down in the comments. Right, today we've got the other side of the horse breaker pedal, the breaker. We've also then got two, the two sides put together. And what's cool with this pedal is you can decide which order it goes breaker first or the horse side first. So let's get down to it. We're gonna compare the breaker with the left side of the protein and the left side of the Duelist today. We're gonna to stick with the Bloomfield drive from the last video. Uh, we'll have a bit of fun. We'll compare some settings as usual. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh, and don't forget, I'm giving away this horse breaker pedal when I hit three and a half thousand subs. For me, this is a really big giveaway. This pedal is fantastic. It could, if you haven't already got, you know, a decent set of pedals, this can really cover quite a lot of bases in one pedal. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to give that away. Just subscribe to the channel publicly. Um, go into your settings and check that or ask me in the comments if you want to know if I can see your subscription on my list and then comment on a video uh, as well. And we'll give it away like we have done the last few times. All right, let's get to it. Okay, these are the amp settings for today. This is the Two Rock Bloomfield Drive. I got it in its 100 watt setting. I wanted plenty of headroom for this. Uh, the master volume and presence just suit what I need for the room. We're in the um, sort of rhythm channel, not the lead channel. So you can ignore the lead master and lead gain. And the reverb is at a point where it's not obtrusive. It's just a nice sort of bed of reverb. The bass is down a little bit, the mids are in the middle, the treble is up a little bit, and there's a decent amount of gain, but nothing extravagant. Okay, a couple of things I noticed from that little test already. You could have seen that the breaker's volume knob was on full. Um, I don't know if I've got a faulty pedal, I doubt it. Just me from the future here, I'm going to be mentioning this volume thing a few times more during the video, but I've done a little bit of reading and it turns out that it may be the original Marshall Blues Breaker pedal had this same sort of thing, that unless the game was turned up, um, the tone and the volume were slightly rolled back from what you know, what they could be, and as you would wound up the gain, uh, or wind up the gain, sorry, then uh, it would sort of solve that issue. Other people making Blues Breaker pedals have often fixed this issue just by, I guess, you know, removing some component or increasing the, the level, whatever it is. Uh, not in this case, so it's obviously quite a faithful recreation. All right, back to the video. Um, maybe it's to do with how it needs to interact with the other half of the pedal, but the volume level is very low, really. Um, only the final, quarter of the dial or so really brings it up to a, a point at which I would use it uh, and to match it with the others to bring out the best of them I had to put it on full and we're talking about 99 to 101 decibels here so not super loud but yeah so I noticed that the other thing I noticed I had to push the tone up of the breaker quite a lot so that it wasn't too muddy um, essentially uh, any lower than I put it and it just didn't feel alive when I was playing with it so there's that to say as well the other thing I would say is that I love the Protein pedal. I'm gonna try not to be too biased about it. 
of the protein and the dualist in what you just heard, my opinion is that the protein has the richest harmonics in it. There's a real depth to it. But the dualist also has great sort of brightness and clarity, which is also great. Um, in fact, maybe, you know, really great for live situations um, where you need to sort of cut through the mix. And the dualist has a lot more toys to play on it, if you see what I mean. It's got the, the three-way selector switch and it's got the internal dip stuff. So keep that in mind. But now what we're gonna do is go through a few different settings from lower gain to higher gain, a couple of different guitars. I'll talk you through it as usual. Okay, let's start with an edge of breakup sound. I'm gonna use a strap for this so that we get some real clarity and dynamics out of the pedals and see what they can really do. I am a little bit concerned with that breaker side of the horse breaker about the volume thing. Am I going to be able to push the amp with a strap? Um, I'm gonna, obviously probably gonna have to use the gain knob a little bit more. Let's go and see what happens. Do you know what? I just closed my eyes for a minute and listened to those uh, three pedals back to back. And I've got to say, uh, what struck me was how similar the breaker and the left side of the protein are. Um, they feel different to play, I must admit, and the protein has a lot more level left in it compared to the breaker, which is on full. But in terms of the actual tone that came out, it was very, very similar. I think the protein has a hair more depth uh, in some ways. Um, and it just has a little bit more dynamics and direct feel under the fingers compared to the breaker. But in terms of the end result, um, you know, the audience not necessarily going to know. The Duelist, as I've often said in previous videos, even with my eyes closed, sounded completely different. And it has this, uh, it's sort of like a processed feeling to me. I, I think it's just a very particular thing to, to me and maybe some other people. Um, certainly, uh, in terms of making music, your audience aren't going to think, oh God, that sounds a certain way, really, are they? Um, if it gives you the dynamics you want. But for me, the protein just has uh, more dynamics than the Duelist. Um, I think the Duelist probably has a lot more power left in it than the protein does, though, and it can go less transparent, more overdriven. You know, it's just a, a slightly different take on a similar sound. Um, but I enjoyed all three of them. So now we're gonna go for a bit more of a uh, high gain sound. The break is at its max on level, so we're just gonna have to get that gain going. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
Do you know when a certain type of effect is it is so exactly what you're looking for, what gels with your playing, that it becomes inspirational? And sometimes you sit down and you play something and that you weren't expecting. Um, it can even help you to find the right note sometimes. And I've got to say, all three of those pedals pretty much did that for me just then. So I wasn't expecting to play something sort of, I don't know, single note-ish exactly like that. Out of the three, the Protein gave me the most of that feeling, but the breaker did a really good job. It only lacks a bit of extra dynamics, a bit of extra sort of play in it, because when you hit it to its max and it stops and the other pedals have got more to give, you do feel that. Again, the Duelist sounds like the Duelist. There's not exactly anything wrong with that. It sounds great. Um, I'm only using it stock setting today because otherwise the permutations become crazy. But I think if you hit it into glass, you know, you'll get a bit more of, of that brightness that, that you might want. Um, or fat if you want it to be even thicker. So, um, you know, just to say that, you know, these pedals, they, 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 they really float my boat. Uh, but just in case any of you are a bit more gainy than me, I'm going to plug in a Les Paul really quickly and uh, turn up the gain slightly more again. We'll just see how it goes. And then there are two more things I want to do. For each of the pedals, I think we should use its other half just very briefly. Maybe a bit more in depth with the breaker, seeing as this series is about that pedal. And lastly, we're going to go back to just the blues breaker side of each pedal and hit it with the uh, broadcast AP because that's the combo of pedals I use a lot uh, the blue side of the protein with the AP. So, first of all, let's do this Les Paul and then we'll move on to those. <laughs> Okay, we've come this far, might as well turn those gain dials all the way up and see what it sounds like. Okay, well that was a lot of fun. They all responded really well to a bit of higher gain stuff with that Les Paul, which is a pretty hot Les Paul with those bare knuckle pickups in there. Um, I have to say, as, as uh, usual, the proteins, protein seems to have maybe the best headroom. Everything just holds up a bit better. The Duelist gets really very compressed, which could suit for some things and maybe not for others. Um, and the breaker is 
just taken to its absolute max. It, do, it does actually sound really good still. Maybe not quite as much headroom, maybe not quite as much clarity as the protein, but it does a really good job and it would definitely be my second choice to the protein in terms of a blues breaker over the Duelist, um, you know, for me. Okay, now let's have a look at both sides of each pedal combined. Okay, here's one cool feature that the horse breaker has and the other two don't. So obviously, as you know, this is a clone, clone and a blues breaker, but you can actually change the direction in which the pairing happens. So you can have the BB first, or you can have the Centura or the, the horse first. With the other two pedals, you've got with the Protein, you've got a Nobles ODR1 and you've got a blues breaker. So the Nobles ODR1 is first in that path. And with the Duelist, you've got a uh, Tube Screamer type then being hit by the Blues Breaker. So let's hear that, how they all sound in that order and then we'll swap the Horse Breaker in the other direction and see what difference it makes. So this is another one of those parts of a video like this where uh, you could go a number of different ways and there's different permutations and I probably won't be able to please everyone but the way I've done this is picked the side of the pedal that I would probably be using as the main side for me. So for the Horse Breaker that would be the horse. For the Protein it would be the blue side but for the duelist, it would be the string singer. That's the tube screamer side, the side that I would be you know, using to get that tube screamer sound. So they're not the same side of each pedal. It's not being hit in the right direction or the same direction on each one. But for me, that's not the important part. The important part is the usability and what it adds to you. So hopefully I've made it clear with the text I'll put on screen in which direction it's going. Um, but let's see what happens. <laughs> So I thought that was really interesting. With the horse breaker, you got the centaur sound, and then when you hit the, the BB side into it, it sort of just increased the feeling of it being a clon centaur and it got a bit louder, a bit more boosty, you know, just a little bit more of everything. With the blues breaker, uh, sorry, with the protein, sorry, it was quite different. I started with the blue side, the left hand side, and it was very transparent. But when I hit it with the Nobles ODR1, because the Nobles has a lot more compression in itself and it's more of a a real overdrive sound, uh, it made the whole sound a bit more compressed and it felt like a good sort of melding of the two things, the blue and the green side. You could really hear a bit of both of those characters, the Blues Breaker and the Nobles, which I think is fantastic. The um, Duelist just gets more and more compressed for my ears. You know, I had the decibel meter, everything's going in this case sort of 104 decibels, 103 to 104 when I hit it really hard, and they're all doing that but the Duelist actually sounds quieter even when it's doing that. It just rolls off different edges and sounds completely different. Okay, what we're gonna do now is swap the side of the horse breaker that is going into the other side. I think this is a really cool feature that you can use. 
Um, so let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> I swapped it and the Centura was going into the BB, there was a lot more compression, a bit more sustain, uh, it was just a quite different sort of sound and when I flip back to the original way, the BB going into the C, that's the way I prefer it, it's a bit more raucous, a bit more raw, a bit more transparent and that's probably the way I'd keep it and I just showed you again at the end the, the other two pedals how they sound just so you can keep it in mind. So overall what I would take from that is all the pedals are obviously designed really well uh, you know, they add something when they when you use both sides. Um, uh, I showed you which side I preferred of each one, so you know that might help you to make decisions as well. But overall, I think what you're really getting is a is a big boost. You know, a big boost in volume, um, and in some cases, a completely different type of compression when you hit it with the other side of its own pedal. I'd say the flip switch on the horsebreaker is really interesting. For me, once I've tried it once, I pretty much just would always keep it in the in the right hand side. So, you know, it's good that you can play with that. And for the price, I like the fact that there are extra features with this pedal. We didn't even talk about the fact you can change it from bypass to buffer on the left hand side. But, um, you know, I don't really know the technicalities behind that. So I'll leave that to one side. What I want to do now at the end, is one last little thing. I want to get the Hudson Broadcast AP and just uh, hit each of these blues breaker types, so on each one I'll choose the breaker type and hit it with the AP and just see what happens and see if it compares with the protein in the way that I use it like that. So I'm just showing you the amp settings again, they've changed slightly, I've increased the bass and the mids, reduced the treble, reduced the present uh, and that's largely because this old vintage uh, ES355 having an ebony board can be reasonably bright, quite spanky, you know, that's the way they were supposed to be and this is just the tone that I'm going for. Thank you. 
So in that you saw the protein, the blue side of the protein, and then being hit by the AP. That's one of the, the sort of setups that I use uh, the most for myself. And then I tried to do the same or similar with the breaker and then with the duelist, the heavy hand. I set up each of the three main pedals in their own way to be similar but to sound good in themselves so that I could use any three of them. So they're not exactly the same, don't have exactly the same amount of gain, etc. For example, this is where on the breaker, the fact that you have to get the gain up somewhat in order to get enough volume is quite an important thing. Then I kept the AP the same for all three. I really like the fact that it's got that um, sort of low cut switch on there which helps me to reduce some of the bass coming from the amp in a small room. I really enjoyed playing with all three to be honest with you, but what surprised me was how nice it was doing that with the breaker. Uh, possibly just as good if not a tiny bit nicer to play with than the blue side of the protein in that particular setup. Um, so that surprises me. Um, and I think we've come to the end of this video pretty much. What's my conclusion? The Horsebreaker is a fantastic pedal. You're getting two of the most um, important, I would say, sort of flavours of, of overdrive. Uh, You've got the real sort of warm, tubey overdrive of a blues breaker type not too high gain, pretty transparent. And then you've got the distinctive sound of the Klon type pedal. Um, and it does it really well. The fact that it's the same as the larger Cheriotone Centura pedal um, is uh, fantastic considering the price. You're getting twice as much as your, for your money here, if not more than that. It works well on both sides, despite the volume issue, although that is accurate to the original Blues Breaker, apparently. But together, it also works really well. So you're getting quite a few different things for your money here. And I'm just really happy to be able to give this away to someone when we hit three and a half thousand subs. So if you've got this far in the video, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me, uh, you know, with the amount of work I put in on these videos. It's just nice to see some feedback. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. Subscribe publicly to win this pedal when I hit three and a half thousand subs. Um, the last thing I would say is, uh, both of these pedals, the Cheriotones, are huge, huge. So if you've got a small pedal board, it's something to think about before you buy it. It's gonna take up a lot of space, but it does give you, on the Horsebreaker, a massive upside compared to the Centura in that you get three times as much for your money, actually, with each individual side and both together. So it's not so bad in the end. Um, all right, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.